hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you the impact of dollar one selection so right now you are seeing the selection difference that we have sh that i have shown you in the previous video but let's go into the edit mode and make some changes so over here uh, i will keep dollar as it is but over here in the second selection i will say uh, not one but dollar one and if you remember from the second last video which I shared you uh, That dollar one basically indicates the previous selection the value of the previous selection So if I press the tab you will see 8.56 so if I click on done and first of all remove everything uh, It will keep showing you whatever I selected previously so you can see uh, 14.92 and 5.5 is right now if I say consumer the 14.92 is gone over here right and 3.06 which is the current selection value is coming over here so I know initially it will be confusing but trust me if you will use it in the um, in scenarios where you want to capture these kind of selections and want to compare the selections very very helpful now if you see 3.06 will move over here if I select something uh, over here so corporate 8.56 3.06 3.06 now reflects the consumer selection if I uncheck this you will see 5.5 which is only for corporate but 8.56 is overall consumer and corporate so that's about how your um, dollar one really uh, make an impact now you can also specify any state of dollar one you can say dollar two so this this will you know confuse or this will make it uh, more and more complex based on the advancement we will go and let's specify the dollar one over here so previous value second previous value if i hit tab you will see like this and based on whatever selection we will make and you will see it in the uh, when you will analyze the data this is the this is going basically two step back this is going one step back and giving you the output so that's what i mainly wanted to show you the demonstration of how it picks up the previous and uh, second previous value and how you can really utilize it in the front end with the help of the kpi but whenever you use chart like this or table where you want to see the difference you will see it uh, by just making the selection and it will keep showing you the comparison of what you currently selected what you previously selected what you selected two step backs and so on and so forth so that's pretty much it uh, i would really recommend you you experiment with it uh, with, the, with the different charts that we have and uh, you will see that when the situation will arise in your business to create such a chart it will provide a lot of value so a good functionality to keep in mind